right, this is just going to be another real quick review and a little bit of a how-to on the 2J Racing uh, short shifter. So it's already installed right now. I'm going to show you guys the throw. So first gear, it gets pretty close. If anything, it kind of moves, moves everything forward towards the cup holders, which isn't a great thing because I thought when I first bought it, I thought it was going to move everything a little, a little farther back so I'd have more room when I have some drinks in the cup holders, but it doesn't. Um, it moves everything forward, which it's you get used to it after a while, especially with the benefits of having a short shifter. Uh, it outweighs that little annoyance of not having that much space. So you see there I'm in I'm in third gear right now and I've got the camera directly over top and it's getting awfully close to to that cup holder. If we look at the the actual the actual stick itself, I did have to trim a little bit of the plastic here. I'm up against that almost up against that plastic right now. So what I did was you just pull this plastic piece off, unscrew your knob, pull the plastic piece out, and flip it over and with a little with a little couple snips or something, just trim that little plastic piece right here, just a little bit underneath. You will never see it on top. Just a little bit of a trim. We're talking about maybe an eighth of an inch. Just enough. Really I didn't even have to do it, but when I went to third gear, I noticed that the plastic moved slightly. So it was it was hitting enough for the plastic to move. So I just trimmed it slightly. Now I have full clearance there. But as you can see, it gets close. That's third gear. Now it did dramatically change the distance of the shifts. We'll go into fourth gear. Fourth gear is just about where neutral used to be. So that's nearly center. Fourth gear, just about where neutral was at. Now fifth gear is a little a little farther. It almost feels like it's a little bit farther than it used to be. But you get used to it. The only reason I have to say that is because the wife has a hard time putting in fifth gear sometimes with the short shifter on. But you'll see first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, reverse. So it moves things further away from your leg, which is nice, but it does move everything closer to the cup holder. So let me show you how to uh, install this real quick. All right, having an intake makes this a lot easier, much, much easier. There's the actual piece right there. So this, this aluminum piece here, that's your short shifter from 2J. So it's, it's nice and easy to get to if you've already got an intake on your car. If you've got your stock intake, it's, it's going to be in the way. Most likely you'll have to remove it. A couple of screws here. Just remove the whole intake if you've got your stock intake. If you've got one like this, um, you can get to it no problem. So this is, like I said, already installed. There it is. I'm going to pull it off. So you guys can take a look at what this looks like and how how long it takes to pull it off and install it. All right, here is the short shifter from 2J Racing. I have had this installed on the car for probably over a year with absolutely no issues. It took a little bit of abuse right here. It's all aluminum, one piece. It's small. It's not too too large at all one piece like I said and just a little bit of abuse on the corner that's that's it and this is hard driving um, for over a year and I do not see this breaking anytime soon it is made right um, I've taken this car to the track multiple times and I'm not a great driver so I, I just beat the heck out of this thing and it's given me no issues whatsoever so it's a cheap part. This is probably one of the first things. If you buy a Spec V, this is the first thing you want to buy from 2J Racing. I think it's like 40 bucks, 45 bucks. Uh, if you get it with their bushing kit, I think it's like 80 bucks, and you get all the bushings for your shift linkage at the same time. 
you can get it in different whoops you can get it in different colors so well worth the money so let's let's install it real quick all the tools you'll need for this is right here that's it that's all you need to install this this short shifter if you've got an aftermarket intake all right let me see if I can put the camera in a better spot all right you can kind of see there so you've got your linkage there all you got to do is pull this little pin out pull it out just like that then pull this little washer off once you do that pick up your linkage and pull it straight off of that little peg just like that so looking down at the car this is what you should see just everything disconnected right there that's how quick it was so take your short shifter try to do this one-handed and that peg place that inside the linkage inside the little hole right there that you can kind of see just like that make sure it's nice and tight flush with the short shifter now this little hole here put that on top of just pull your pull the linkage out match it up with the original peg on the car and should be able to just press it down there we go so press it down so that the peg comes out here you want to make sure that this end of the short shifter slides right in that little opening on your stock shifter so it'll slide right down and that does it just take your take the pin that we pulled off slide it right inside the original peg right there and you're done that's how quick it is literally this can be done if you have an aftermarket intake this can be done in about 60 seconds very simple I'm gonna take it back off again just to just to show you how simple it is this is one-handed there we go now it's off Just like that, one-handed with a camera. It took me a few seconds to take that off. Now I'm gonna leave it off because I wanna go back inside and show you guys the throw after the fact. This is the stock throw, which you guys already know, but just to be thorough, we'll check it out. That's neutral. Fourth gear is way back here now. So it definitely made a huge difference. Third gear. See, it moved everything forward. This is the stock throw. Third gear is a little farther from the plastic than with the short shifter. Third, fourth way back here. Fifth, a six, and reverse. But you guys already know this part, but just to show you the real difference of where fourth gear was at compared to where it was with the short throw shifter. So there you have it. Real quick and easy. <clears throat> 40 bucks, 2J Racing, well made part. I've had it on the car for over a year now. I've had no issues with it and I don't I don't see I don't see anything happening to it to be honest. I don't see that breaking. It's a hard one to break. Thanks for watching.